Clay Potts 1. For God, who said, Let there be light in the darkness, has made this light shine in our hearts, so we could know the glory of God that is seen in the face of Jesus Christ. We now have this light shining in our hearts, but we ourselves are like fragile clay jars containing this great treasure. 2 Corinthians 4, 6 and 7, New Living Translation. God has given us the indescribable treasure of His nature, His power and glory. Somehow these flawed clay pots we inhabit are unable to deliver streams of living water to a sin-darkened desert. We are filled up, poured out, and filled up again. His light shines most effectively when our clay pots are cracked, chipped, and sometimes shattered into a million pieces. We make jokes about being cracked pots, but submitting to the potter's wheel is uncomfortable, even painful. It's hard enough when we are the ones spitting on the potter's wheel, but when God allows our children to experience the pressure that creates cracks, the pain that chips and breaks, and those awful heartaches that threaten to shatter their lives and ours, well, trusting God gets taken on a whole new level. I've had so many wrestling matches with God over this. You'd think I was auditioning for a televised smackdown. If you need someone in your corner to tag for a few rounds, call me. Being molded isn't easy, but watching our children go through the process can be even more painful. In those moments, we need to trust the potter's hands. Let's pray. Father, when I dedicated this precious child to you, it seemed like the obvious decision. But now, I know you understand how much this hurts. You lived the heartbreak of watching your son suffer and die for me and for my children. I don't know how to walk this path with them. Show us together how to draw comfort, grace, wisdom, and strength from you and from your people. Grandma Ruth.